Dr. Jones, I presume. You right. must be Mr. Ryan. I'm Paul. This is my sister Jennifer. This is Dr. Walker Daniels, and I'm guessing you've already met my mother. Dr. Jones, um, this really isn't a very convenient time. Perhaps we could reschedule? I see. Reschedule? He's just giving you test results. I'd like to see them. Uh, unfortunately, the results are, are very inconclusive. How so? Well, the nature of Ms. Ryan's symptoms are, are very puzzling. Do you mind if I scan the reports? I didn't bring the actual reports. Why not? I didn't think it was necessary. How about film? Where were the tests done? Stop this interrogation. Well, I'm not interrogating. What hospital are you affiliated with? Columbia Presbyterian? I told you. Do you happen you. to know a Dr. Tim McKay, head of neurology? No, I'm, I'm more independent. <laughs> independent. Well, I assume we call a radiologist, get an oral read, if you'd give me the number. Actually, I have it back in my office. I'll call Ms. Ryan with it, but I am late. I have another appointment. I really have to go. I'll be in touch, Ms. Ryan. So that's your expert. How much did you pay that clown? He came highly recommended. From whom? Why didn't you ask me or Ben for a recommendation? How much, Mom? I took the tests. I swear. I mean, I didn't know he was incompetent. The guy should have his license oh, revoked. Stop it, Mom. You lied. No, I didn't. I was just so scared that you were sick. I defended you to Paul. I was having symptoms, OK? Well, maybe, maybe I was imagining them. They say that happens sometimes. You're imagining something. Why are we here in New York? Because of Jordan and Rosanna. Is it James? No. Did James hire that quack? Is he behind all of this? No, no, he has nothing to do Tell with... Tell me the truth. Paul, I swear to you, this has nothing to do with your father. Okay, I will tell you. Rosanna's behind this. She wanted you both out of the way so she could be alone with Jordan. You're telling me that, that Rosanna cooked up some... Phony brain tumor scheme? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that she wanted you both out of Oakdale for a while. Because of Jordan? Yes, darling. I'm sorry. Oh, Jordan would never be a part Rosanna of Rosanna wouldn't do this either. You it. did this, Mother. You are up to some. What are you doing? I swear to you, she came to me about this because she's so worried and frightened about Cabot. And you know what? She has a reason to be. Because I'm scared, too. Because if James wants to come after either of you... Then we all know who to blame. Paul! Let him go. You know, I defended you, Mom. Because I told Paul not to think the worst because you were sick and you needed us. I didn't want you to be hurt, that's all. Jordan loves me. He would never do anything to hurt me. Maybe not intentionally. We are happy. Why does that threaten you? Answer her, Barbara. Don't talk to me in that tone. I did all of this for the right reasons, Jen. Then tell us those reasons. Save your breath, Walker. She'll never tell you the truth. Mom, you might have destroyed Paul and Rose, but you will never do that to me and Jordan. We love each other, and nothing you say, nothing you do will keep us apart. She was Cabot's birth mother. My guess is that she was hired by James to put it, all this in motion. I'm sure that the biological mother has no idea what happened to him. She probably thought that she was signing off on a legal adoption. Oh, God, I can't even go there. I don't, okay? We can't change the past. But Rosanna, the one thing that I know in my heart is that Cabot could never find a mother who loves him more than you do. He's such a little angel, you know? He came into my life and everything I thought was important suddenly didn't matter anymore. We do share a very precious gift. Thank you. Thank you for understanding and for loving him so much.
What is this? What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Uh, I, I, I can explain. No, I... you can I don't... I don't want to hear your explanations. Wait a second. Oh! 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 Get up. Don't. Come on, let's get this over with. Come on, don't. You cheat. This is your night for stupid moves. Make another one. I'm no, right here. Come no, on, no, no, don't, Come on. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do it. Down. Thanks. What about me? I don't know. Will your head fit in this? Well, you're angry at me. You're mad at me? You're making out with this guy, and I'm, I'm just supposed to be okay with that. I wish I could make you understand. Yeah, make me understand. Please, please make me understand. All the, all the plotting and scheming so that you could get me and Jennifer out of town so you could... What? What? Se seduce my brother? This is, you know, she, she set this whole thing up. You know that, right? Yes, I do, and I understand why. I'm sorry. I wish you didn't have to find out this way. Find out what? Jordan and I have decided to make a go of our marriage. For Cabot's sake. I don't know. We've discussed all that. We, all of us, we, we've, all, we've all discussed this. Jordan is my husband, and we both want the same things. Right. All of a sudden, you decided that the thing that you want most is, is each other. That... That's just great. That's perfect. Yeah, it make, makes perfect sense. What about my sister? You remember Jennifer Casanova? Jordan is going to explain to Jennifer that they can't be together anymore. Look, Paul, I realize that this is abrupt and that you're disappointed, but we're doing what we have to do as parents, and I don't think you understand that. No, I don't understand that. This stinks! And this little tap dance thing that you two are doing right now? I don't buy it. Not even a little bit. No, he, he, he doesn't believe us. It won't work. We have to tell him the truth. You're going to consummate your marriage because James wants you to. It's the only way we can guarantee Cabot's safety. This is not what you want. No, we don't want to. We have to. I think I could talk to your wife for a moment alone? It's okay, I'm fine. Call me if you need me. She's not gonna need you. Rosanna. No, wait. No. Wait. I'm sorry. Lying to you was killing me. I felt terrible about it, but it was the right thing to do. For whom? For Kevin. Oh, right, yeah, no, it's definitely the right thing to do for the kid to have his parents follow the ravings of some lunatic madman in a federal penitentiary. Look, like, I'm sorry. You can't do this, Rosanna. You need to stop now before it gets any worse. I have made my decision. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to learn to accept it. No. I will not accept anything that has to do with losing you. Don't make this harder than it already is. I'm going to make it impossible. Place. I'm in love with you, Rosanna. And I think that you're in love with me. How you feel is the only thing that does matter, Rosanna. You don't belong with that guy. You don't belong with Jordan Sinclair. Look, none of this is his fault, okay? I know that. Look, I know whose fault it is. I know that this is James' fault. He has been trying to control my life for as long as I can remember, but I am not, I am not gonna lose you because of James. There's something that we can do. Your father has made his terms abundantly clear. So what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to walk away. No, I'm not gonna do that. Well, you have to. This isn't gonna work. It has to work. No, you don't even love the guy. It doesn't matter. I will give up that kind of love for my son. Really? How long do you think that's gonna last? What I think doesn't matter. What I feel doesn't matter. 
Your father has told me that I have to choose between you and Cabot, and I'm sorry. I'm choosing my son. 